days, keep it in a, like in the sun uh, and let it settle mm. because you will get a lot of food <coughs> residue oh, yeah. of muck For that sure. will go to the bottom. Yeah. So you would use then. These are all bits and pieces. But this is a pump which I used to use to pump my oil. So let's say I have a tank. This is the tank. Yeah. I will drop this pump in just from the top. Yeah. yeah, I will hold it <clears throat> and just start siphoning okay. all the oil on the top. On the top. Until I see that we get to the to all the residue at the exactly. bottom. And then this wrapped around it. It connects. You plug it in and you set it to like keep it blasting. And it will overnight by the morning your oil will be nice and hot at about 140 degrees. That thing warms it up to 140? Yeah. Uh, and what is up So we can make french fries. Yeah. Well, at 140 <laughs> okay. the oil is really liquid mm -hmm. and it's really nice for re reacting. Mm -hmm. It really reacts super well. So this is just, you know, a heating tank. It's got its own wheels and it's got a hookup. So you hook that up. Is that another heat unit right there? There are heat units. I don't use those <laughs> Got it. because I don't think they work very well. Yeah. And they are too much. You want, you want to make it warm up slowly overnight. It doesn't use a lot of power, but it, you'll get a much better result. Yeah, sounds good. Um, you plug that into there. Yeah, and that, yeah. OK. This is your pump that will. Originally, it doesn't have it didn't have a real pump. It just went in. Cold, but I heard if you're running in colder temperatures, right? You have more a little more problems. Yeah, I mean that. Is, if you go to um, Walmart, yeah, they sell additives for biodiesel. Oh. I would buy them. They're really cheap. They're like hmm. twenty bucks. Yeah, and you can get one for winter that it's an antifreeze <laughs> for biodiesel, and one which is an injector cleaner for biodiesel for regular. Okay. We started adding it as a standard thing. Mm -hmm. You add one for 300 gallons, so it's 20 bucks on 300 gallons. Yeah. It's really not a So you big. add it to the fuel. I add it to the fuel once I have it in the tank. Exactly. Got it. Uh, and it just keeps your injectors really nice for the summer. And in the winter, which we don't have the issue here, yeah. it's it's like regular diesel if you go yeah. up in the mountains. But we're driving to the valley. The valley does get cold for the for the wine tours and things like yeah, that. Yeah, you, not can, there you that can put, you can, I mean, if the car is on before you go there, you're not having an issue. Got it. The issue is if Warm you park it, it overnight exactly, yes. and you don't have a plug-in for your engine. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the, like the Cummins, yeah. have an actual electric cord that goes into the wall. And it'll keep your engine warm. On That's overnight. maybe what that thing was on the side of the bus. Oh, the oh yeah. There's a, there's a plug-in by the door on the outside. Usually Cummins have... have, have That's what it is. For cold weather, you plug them into the wall, and it keeps the engine and everything warm. That's what that is. Because it's the engines up front on yeah. this one. The other one's in the back. back. It could be that. You'll see it. And you'll follow the wire, it'll go straight into the engine. That's so funny. I'm so excited. On the outside. I'm so excited. <laughs> Darren looks scared. No, I'm Let's scared. look. I'm going to show you. I throw some of Once it settles, you will see that up here it will be like a double barrel ale. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it will be a sort of amber the color. The lower part will be all black, which is glycerin, and the upper part will be an amber color. That is the fuel. And you want to pull the glycerin out with this pipe and this plug. Oh, I see. It will drain out the bottom. It will drain out the bottom, and then <laughs> what's left over is fuel. But this fuel now needs to get filtered. Okay, so now this is the tricky part. These are your filter containers. Now, you need the reactive the stuff that goes in. You pump it in here. And you comes out of there. Comes out of there. In there, it yeah, gets it here. gets primed in here. So now you have you decide. Let's say you start with 50 gallons, okay, mm -hmm. or 70 gallons, whatever. Yeah. Okay. On this side, you're gonna prepare your titration, and we'll look at that in a second step. You're going to put methanol in here, and you will look at the how many gallons you're putting in of methanol. 20 percent. Yes. Uh, depending on what you put in here, you put 20% in Exactly. Here. 
How do you put the methanol in? We add the methanol in to this place. Okay. Okay. So that drops into the drum. This drops into here. But this Th this goes. I I had a little drum pump. Okay. I used to pump the methanol out. Yes. Okay. Uh, pump the methanol in here. Uh, put your lye up here. The lye is something separate, obviously. Yes, it's a. It's. You have to buy that. You have to buy it, and it comes in powder form. We should have some oil lying around. Yeah, it's up in the glass. Well, you wow. see, this catched humidity, and now it's gone solid. Okay. But it comes like little balls like that. Got it. Okay. You put your line here and you run your methanol pump cycle. And what it does, it sprays through these little sprayers, through this pipe in the back here, mm -hmm. the methanol over the line until it's completely dissolved into one liquid. Okay. Once this reaction is finished, that all the, the lye is melted into the methanol, mm -hmm. you're gonna open one of these, I have all the instruction books, it allows the methanol to go into the into this tank and this will start rotating. Now, the original system wanted you to use this pipe and that pipe uh -huh. with a uh, system of rotating. It takes three hours to get a reaction. So what I do is I make this thing. I put a drill to it. Uh -huh. I put a chair. And get up there and I get up there. You want to wear a mask? I'll give you the mask. Yeah. And I pump the methanol into here in one go. Open it all up. Put this in. Within 20 minutes, you have a three-hour reaction. When I do my fuel, then I keep it in here. Oh. And then you have it with a big. Where you can put your coupling. Yeah. Straight into your tanks, and you have this is what nearly 300, 250 gallons. Yeah. How much? 250. Sure. If you tip it up to the top, you can get 300 gallons. In and after you make it, how long can you store it Six like months. that? Six months. If pure. If you blend it with uh, with regular diesel, you can store it for way longer. Oh, so, course. what you have to do, and I'll try and give you as much of this equipment as possible, yeah. is I would advise you before you run your process <clears throat> to do a process. A smaller. Yeah, do a gallon that, that, over here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that you know what you, the result that you're gonna get. This is so now, cute. We're getting a little. Oh my god, I love this. Uh, say that over. Say that over again. Yeah, sh show. So, so say what you were saying, but from the beginning. This so is biodiesel. This is biodiesel, and when you filter it, you want to try and get rid of those little, little Yellow. balls which are floating around there. Okay. And that's what's going to clog your filters, and that's the filtration system. Mm -hmm. But this is the color it's going to look at. Yeah, very cool. So the whole point of this is I'll give you everything here. I don't know where the top of the blender is. <laughs> what we usually do is we do one, one run in the lab. Yeah. And I have a whole bunch of lab stuff which I'm going to give you. Yeah. Uh, just to see that what I'm going to do there works here. Okay. So you, this is going to be your most important part. You will have, prepare a mixture, which is distilled water. Tom, what was the titration thing? We use the distilled water with the methanol. No, you. This is going to be your um, caustic solution. So this has lye in it. Um, and you add, you fill this up to the top of the distilled water, and then you take the 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. It has to be 99 percent, because usually at CVS they only sell 70. Oh, okay. But you have to get the 99, and then to this you would add one milliliter of your oil. Right here, it's the virgin oil, so. Okay. It, what's, the, you, what's the little metal thing in there for? It, oh, it for stirs it up. Yeah. So you kind of got to get it centered, and then you add the oil when it makes up the lye. Once it gets clear, you start adding. Um, virgin oil titrates at 3.5 milliliters per 
this solution, so you're going to have to add at least 3.5 milliliters of this okay. into here, and then you can start following the process on here. Well, I have a whole manual. Yeah, so I'm going to give you the and manual. Use the litmus strip. Uh, yeah. And okay. what you do, basically, what you're trying to do is to measure the pH uh -huh. of this oil that you're going to be using. Okay so that you know what's the pH of it, so yeah. that you can work out how much lye you need to put in that machine. Okay. Okay. So, the pH strips will tell you uh, what you want to do the reaction between 8 and 9. Okay. Okay, so you want to get that color. Okay. Once you get that color, you know how much of each you're putting in, okay. so that then you work right. out how much to put in there. Okay. Now, the, there is a website, which is the Extreme Biodiesel website, yeah. where you don't have to go crazy working everything out. You tell them what your titration is, yeah. it will automatically tell you for how much oil, what you need to put in there. Okay. So it's, you just need a laptop or yeah. a smartphone. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is the titration, the way it goes. And what you do, the same thing. You prepare your titration, you measure. You heat up your oil to 140. Okay. You put it in the blender. You put, if you're putting one gallon, 20% methanol, mm -hmm. lye, yeah? pour it in, blend it, let it sit, and you will see what comes out. If you get a good reaction, mm -hmm. you always want at least 10% of glycerin coming out. Okay. So you want, out of 50 gallons, you should get at least 10 gallons of scent you're losing, there's too much glycerin left in, 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 your, in your reaction. Okay. Which then makes complicated because then you have to do a recovery batch. Uh, which it's easier to take that, mix it with the oil that you have left over and it. restart the game. Got it, got it. Okay. If you overreact, you're going to make dish soap. That's what happens. So yeah. if you put too much lye and all it's going to become is, you know, jelly, yeah. bacon, uh, dish soap. Totally. <laughs> Which is great to wash things, but it stinks of, of old French fries yeah. uh, and bacon. That's so funny. So we'll have the manual to look at Yes, that. go but through we, the manual in the next couple of days. When we come, we'll actually have everything, and we'll do a whole... Do a little batch. Do a batch, do a whole lab batch, okay. and see how all of that goes. Okay. And then if you want, once you do the first one, we can, yeah. I can come over and we'll do it together. Yeah. But it's, it's, this is... It's a bit like cooking. You gotta learn, you gotta play around with your lab to get it down exactly. before you do it there. Yeah. Might it's well. uh, it's it's always easier to do the small version. It's harder to bigger yeah. you go and easier it is to fuck up. Yes. Well I, I feel <clears throat> maybe feel better that you can actually go through the first process for this and make sure yes. you're right too. Yes. Which is nice. Thank you. Um, that's cool. So, so this is really what you want to study in the next couple of days. Take the manual, study about this, look at your filter cost, uh, look also all the other pumps. I would only change that pump simply because it hasn't been running. It's <coughs> full of inside there. It's probably full of uh, all the oil. So we should just change it out right away. I would. I mean, you can home keep, yeah, yeah, or just keep this a spare or use it as parts. Yeah. You could probably use the motor, use the, the pump side of it, yeah. pull it apart, wash it. So if your pump breaks, you have yeah. parts to, to fix it. But those, once you stop using, if you don't do it every week, yeah. it just builds up so much sticky muck in there, mm -hmm. it's like glue. Yeah. So that, that's, I mean, I don't want to... Yeah. This has a heater too. Obviously. That's a heater. Yeah, that's I, that keeps it. When I move it from here to here, I keep this heater on, so I keep it warm while I'm prepping that. Okay. So that by the time I move that in here, I haven't lost temperature. Okay. You want to try and keep this at 140 your your oils because 140 you get a fast, nice reaction. Mm -hmm. Just to know a little uh, little things. This is a uh, <coughs> mounting cube. Mm -hmm. Since methanol is poisonous, I usually reconnect it to that and make it circulate. Okay. Also, in the back here, you'll see I did a little thing here. What I did was I put a double junction here uh -huh. with locks. 
simply because originally what you have to do is open that valve mm -hmm. just a little bit so that when this is circulating it's sucking the methanol okay, okay. now you gotta play with that hand valve to see how much methanol is moving mm -hmm. because we had problems in the past I did this because I can unhook this mm -hmm. slap it into there open it up turn on the pump and just pump it in yeah uh, that is just like your emergency backup system mm -hmm. Um, but it works fantastic. If you pump it in, it just shoots it in. Mm -hmm. But you need this connected to this first to, to do the circulation. Gotcha. We worked out that about one quarter, the lever moved one quarter, will actually suck pretty well. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, methanol is clear like water, so yeah. it's very hard to look. <laughs> yeah. See, you know, like, is it moving? <laughs> <laughs> but you'll, you'll, you'll see bubbles over here. Yeah. Building up. When it's put it in, uh, just put a little oil and a little methanol, just run it so yeah. that it cleans all the pipes. You don't really want any water. Yeah. Um, also, once you've finished and you're letting it settle, open the top and let it vent out. Uh, you yeah. will have some... Ah.